Good morning. Hi guys. I'm back. Woohoo! Yay! I'm back. How is everybody doing? I have missed you guys so much. <sighs> I felt so lost last week. <laughs> Because not only was I not here with you guys for Morning Cup of Jesus, but I also wasn't working, you know, so it was it was a crazy week for sure. I it was it was just driving me crazy and you know, I was tired of laying down or I was tired of just not having anything productive to do. And then towards the end of the week I started feeling better, so I started doing some productive stuff, which was great. It felt wonderful. And um so yes, so I've missed you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. We started out with some sleet and a little bit of snow this morning up here in Connecticut. And right now the sun is coming out. Yes, the sun is shining. So yes, so I'm so excited because this is a new month. And wow, tomorrow is election day. Wow. I'm like... I can't believe it's here already <laughs> that it's election day. So yes, so tomorrow is election day and <clears throat> it's gonna be a crazy week, I think, after that, you know, because because we're not gonna really know the, you know, we're not gonna know results for a while. So that's gonna be so different, right? For all of us, so different. And um, so it's gonna be pretty interesting for the next few weeks, definitely. So yes, so and it is a new month. So we have a new monthly theme. I have a challenge going on in our private community. And so I'm excited about that as well. And um, it's all about kindness and gratitude and just having a grateful heart, isn't it? This is a, an amazing month. So this morning, I'm going to be talking about kindness and that supernatural kindness that Jesus has for all of us and, um, and how we, you know, we have it in us to be able to do the same, you know, so... And um, with the help, of course, of his word, you know, in the Bible, because we can't do it alone. That's for sure. Good morning, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> so I hope you guys grabbed your cup of coffee or tea and um, or whatever it is that you enjoy drinking in the morning so that you can join me. My husband and I have not had coffee in like almost two weeks because we have no taste of sense or smell, you know, where we have no sense of taste or smell. And it's finally starting to come back these last couple of days. I, I, you know, my uh, sense of smell is coming back a little bit and um, as well as our taste. So, so we decided to make a cup of coffee this morning because it's been a while. And as you guys know, I love my coffee. And it was awful that we couldn't even smell the nice, you know, coffee beans or even taste it either. Good morning, Melanie. Hi. So, yes. Yeah, so before I get started with our devotion, um, let me just start us off with a prayer. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord, Father, thank you so much for another day that we get to spend together again, Lord. Thank you. It's been a while, and thank you so much, Father. I give you so much glory that I'm feeling better, Lord. Praises to you, Lord, that my husband and I are feeling better this morning, that we feel more alert and we have more energy to continue to keep praising you and worshiping you and sharing your word with others, Lord. Thank you for that, Father. Thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you for a beautiful day with some sunshine. Lord, always help us to, to walk upright, Lord. Give us joy and a grateful heart to receive all that you have for us, for all the good gifts that you have for us, so that we can also extend to that supernatural kindness that you have for us, Lord. New mercies every morning. Yes, new mercies every morning, Lord. And Father, I ask for many blessings on anyone that is watching with me this morning and anyone that will be watching, Lord, that will be hearing your message for them, Father. Blessings on their lives and their families to continue to keep your hedge of protection over them, keep them safe and healthy. In the name of mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Okay, so I'm going to read a couple different scriptures. I'm still a little congested. <laughs> you know, that typical sinus congestion that you get when you have a cold. But other than that, I feel great. Thank the Lord. So the first scripture that I want to read to you is from the book of Psalm 8411. 
And I'm going to read from the Amplified Version. So again, it's Psalm chapter 84, verse 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestow, bestows grace and favor and honor. Right? He gives us grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Yes, no good thing will he withhold from those who walk upright. Amen to that. And then the other one I want to read is from the book of Titus. <clears throat> chapter 3, verses 4 and 5. So again, that's Titus 3, 4 and 5. When the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us not because of the righteous things that we do, but because of his mercy, right? So again, in one scripture, it talks about doing what is right or walking uprightly, but that's the key right there. There is, a, there is another verse, um, or another translation, actually, from the New Living Translation, it says doing what is right, and a few of them say that, but it really doesn't mean... <clears throat> righteous things that you do or good works like physical things that you do right it's all about walking uprightly and walking according to his word following jesus right <clears throat> and his kindness to us for all the good gifts that he gives us is because of his mercy his mercy every single day Lamentations 3, 22 and 23 is one of my favorite scriptures. New mercies every morning. That is so important for us to remember, right? Yes, new mercies every morning. Good morning, Amy. Yes, it's so good to see you guys too. I'm so happy to be back here. Um, so yes, so God's love letter to you and to me. Beloved daughter and son, I will never withhold good from you. I will always give you my best. <clears throat> Even when you don't feel like you deserve it. When you choose to dedicate your life to me, you will walk in my favor and experience my peace. Yes. And yesterday, if you guys remember from the first, our first, our first challenge of the day was about peace in Christ. And about having that grateful heart for the peace that he gives us. Don't allow your feelings to keep you from receiving all that I have to offer. I am the King of Kings and the Father who wants the very best for you. The very best for you. Love your Heavenly Father. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who walk uprightly. We may not immediately see the good things that he has for us when we do right, but in his perfect time, we will receive his gifts. Continually seek to do what is right, or continually seek to walk uprightly. Our God loves to shower us with his supernatural kindness. And we all want that for ourselves, don't we? To have that supernatural kindness in here. Because our human hearts alone can't do it. We need help from this, from his word, from the Almighty, right? Jesus gives us his extended kindness to keep blessing us, but also to correct us all so that we can enjoy all of his good gifts that he has for us. And that's a huge reminder to us, isn't it? Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that reminder, love. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness and good gifts. Thank you, Father. Help us to continue to keep walking uprightly, Lord, and having that grateful heart for, for all that you shower us with, all that you give us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Guys, I hope that was a blessing to you. I'm so happy that you joined me this morning.
kindness is more than a random act. <clears throat> and Jesus exemplified that. And he shows us that every single day. New mercies every morning, right? I'm so happy to see you guys. <laughs> I can't wait to see you again tomorrow morning. Go out there and be a blessing to someone. Show, show that exemplary kindness that God showed us to someone else today. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.